Monday afternoon, just finished work and I thought I would take my fat ass for a walk up that mountain. And a little like much of a mountain, but there's trees in the way. Trust me, there's a hill there. And I thought it would be nice and peaceful to do today's video. Can't really see because of the sun. Put you that way. But there's an abattoir right there. So yeah, not quite as peaceful as I thought. Anyway, if I don't die on the way up, I'll see you when I get up a bit. again I, actually I'm, I'm not the tops up there but it's really windy so I'm not gonna be able to record up there anyway and the Sun's going down so I need the light so I'm gonna head back down down there because it was like a calm spot just over the edge of that cliff there was power lines there but it was calm so I'm in there I'll see you there come back Skippy come back damn it um, just saw a couple of kangaroos run off into the bush and I was like, well, yeah, I could just catch one of them and ride it down the mountain back to the car. Um, so here we are. This is the calm spot. This is where it's, it's the calmest spot I've managed to find on this hill. Must be equal distance between the abattoir and the wind at the top. Light's not the best, but that's okay because you don't really need to see me glistening with sweat after some mild exercise. Oh look, a tree pod. Oh. No, no, it's, 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 uh, it's not gonna work. I'll try and put you on that tree there, but he's a bit crooked. We'll just walk. Anyway, um, basically, L spiky Australia. Everything in Aussie is spiky, even the grass. My socks. Like, wearing the best hiking shoes ever, too. Um, Today's video, an interesting thing came up in conversation today that I really wanted to touch on and that's how I feel about the difference between sobriety and recovery. Um, you probably hear addicts talk a lot about recovery and being in recovery and I'm recovering, that sort of stuff. But there's also sobriety. So for me, the difference is sobriety is you're not using, you're not, you know, my drug of choice was alcohol, so we'll just go with that. I'm not drinking. I haven't had a drop of alcohol for 392 days now. Um, I couldn't even go 30 hours before. So, I mean, that's, that's sobriety. I've been that time without alcohol. Uh, for me, recovery is not needing the alcohol. I still have days where I want to drink. They're getting pretty few and far between, but they're, they are still there. I mean, you've seen the videos on those days. But I don't need to drink. When life gets to me and gets hard, I think, you know, a year ago I would have just gone and got drunk and I wouldn't have to be dealing with this. But I don't want to do that. I want to be sober. I don't want to drink. I want to be sober. And I think that's the main difference for me with recovery is it's doing these vlogs it's trying to make my life a better place the first three months i was just sober i was struggling every day i hated the world i was still negative i still carried on like an addict like oh man everything's so hard i can't drink this sucks um after that three month period that was when i started doing these vlogs and i heard a guy basically saying something about how whatever mistakes you've made in the past, if you've been able to recognize those mistakes and make efforts towards not repeating them, you're not a bad person. A bad person is the one that recognizes those mistakes and keeps going with them. And that's something that really struck with me. And then he was like, well, you know, if you can use your mistakes 
to help others well that's a whole nother level so that's why I do this I do this vlog because I want to help someone learn from my mistakes if I can help you in any way possible then basically every mistake I've ever made in my life there was a reason you know I wasn't just an alcoholic for 10 years because I was a waste of space you know my mum didn't die just for nothing all that stuff was getting me ready to be able to help you and that's that's the way I look at it if I can help one person there's a reason for everything that I've done all the bad stuff I've done everything I've been through all the hurt and pain of course and that to me is recovery is embracing that building a better life enjoying being sober enjoying life again learning to live making amends doing all those really awesome things um, that's my definition anyway I'm sure there's plenty others and everyone has their own thoughts on that but that's just that's just my thoughts that, that come up today um, so I thought I would share them with you I love doing these vlogs this <laughs> to to think like I would finish work and just go oh I'm gonna go walk up a mountain that that's never gonna happen but for me man I really want to record these thoughts I need to go somewhere pretty I'll go and walk up a mountain which is awesome because it's getting fit it's getting active it all counts with that recovery and it's exercise it makes me happy it makes me feel good so I couldn't catch a kangaroo I think the car is down that way of course it is it's downhill anyway I'll see you down there I made that little joke about not being able to find the car thinking I know where I'm going um, yeah just spent 10 minutes just on the other side of that little ridge there going where's the track I know it's downhill I know it's by the power lines anyway I finally found it but yeah, yeah maybe I do need to be a bit more aware of my surroundings sun has just gone behind that cloud so I'm not going to see much of a sunset. I think it's time for me to head back down to the car. So what I'm going to say to you is thank you so much for watching. Check out the rest of the channel for more videos. Subscribe right there. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Don't wait me for